old do-nothing philosopher here, eh? I ain't doing nothing, boys and girls. Frank, no, I'm not. Hey, why would I, right? Just check the old YouTubes there, seeing what kind of new subscriber count I got. None. Why would I? Frick sakes. But uh, on that note, you know what I'm always saying? For frick sakes, my freaking sockets are a mess. Hey, I'm always saying my freaking socks are a mess. I am. Freaking right, I am. So look what I bought today, boys. It was on sale. Freaking right, it was. Uh oh. Check that kid out. Hey? The old Canadian Terry special, boys. Friggin' right. Now I got all the sizes I need, I do. Friggin' right, I do. Why wouldn't I, though, right? So I shouldn't bitch about not finding the right socket now. And now I can take it into the trailer, I can. So now I have a socket kit in the trailer, boys and girls. Friggin' right. Oh, hey, quick video for you. Stay away from Paradigm Bulldogs, eh? They self destruct, they do. $1,500 subwoofer. Right there, boys. And they won't wear on to you, eh? She's a 110. 110 piece of paperweight, boys. So actually, let's walk this out right now into the old garbage tail and we'll freaking throw it in there, we will, and get rid of that piece of junk. Bought two of them. Sold one. It blew up. The guy called me, say, hey, can you do anything with this sub? I said, I'll take it back, see if I get warranty. So while they were doing that, the one I kept blew up. Friggin' right it did. So they warrantied the one. Oh, boys. But they wouldn't warranty the other one. I only paid $1,500 a piece for them. Why would they friggin' warranty them? Friggin' paradigm, you hear me out there, you friggin' goofs? Friggin' right, you are. Why don't you test something before you sell it? Spiders just let go on them, they did. You can't overexert them. They got their own protection, so you can't push them too hard. But obviously, they push themselves too hard. What a freaking joke, man. Frick sakes. Anyways, I'm done with that. I am. Freaking right, I am. Got this old Mastercraft, eh? You know who this is, don't you, bud, if you're watching? Freaking right, you do. I found it in the old drawer. That'd be decent for the RCs, eh? Freaking right. Where's the charger, bud? Give it to me. Why wouldn't you? Eh? Then I can charge her up. She's only been sitting here for like. Three years, for God's sakes. Friggin' right it has been. Friggin' sakes. Hey, Scrappy. Where are you, bud? How long's that been sitting here for? Hey, how long? Too long. Are you cold? Yeah, you are. Why wouldn't you be? Hey, little snort snort he did. Little snorty snort snort, boys. Little snorty snort. But anyways, I don't have much for you today. We're going into three minutes of recording here, so by the time I edit it, we're probably down at about two minutes. So what the frig, eh? Oh, HRB batteries, boys. They're already swelling, they are. One is. One's good, and one's swelling. Just so you know. Ow. Freak sakes. I emailed them and said, hey, what's the warranty on your batteries because they're swelling up? And they said, well, send it back to us and we'll look at it and do this and that and the other thing. Most of the time they swell up because you overcharge them or you don't balance them right or you do this wrong and this wrong and that wrong. Right? Well, doing the same thing to this one I am to that one and look at this one. So you tell me, if this one's fine and this one's not, wouldn't this one be the same way if I was doing something wrong with this one? Stay away from the HRB boys. There's my review on them. They were good when I first got them, but now I don't like them so much. Frig no. Still good as new, boys, hey? Not a swole on them, boys. Um, Venom, 50 Cs? Decent. Venom, 35 Cs? Uh, iffy on them, boys. Hey, they like to swell a little bit, they do. Venom, three cells that you don't get... Uh, don't call for warranty on. Chase them into a two cell, boys, eh? Freaking right. Extra two cell for the daughter's rustler, eh? Freaking right it is. But anyways, boys, I just want to tell you that too. While well, I was looking at them sitting here, swelled up, boys. So she's uh, she might be an exploder in time here on a video, maybe, eh? But uh, we'll keep using it because those are the only four cells I got. So I need them for the old X Max. Speaking of the X Max, I got to do a bearing swap on that thing. I do. Frick, I had it out the other day and I forgot about that. I was running around with a seized up bearing I was. Freak sakes. And I think I'm gonna go to the Max 6. My buddy Kevin there is having good luck with the Max 6 and it seems to make the truck faster for some reason. I'm not quite sure on how that works, but uh, gonna maybe do some research on that and find out, boys. And it seems like if you take out the, the Traxxas, put in a Max 6 by Hobby Wing, the truck's faster. So I don't understand that, boys. I don't understand how that works. Must be just a circuitry in it or something like that. It just works better. And I want to switch over the TRX-4 to brushless too. So I'm waiting to hear back from Kevin on that because I know what he... See you, E, E, electronic speed controller, E-S-C, no, electronic speed controller, electronic speed controller. The computer thingamabobber. I know which one he used, but uh, 
I'm not sure on what motor you use, so I want to find out what motor you put in this TRX4 I do. Friggin' right I do. But if anybody's watching this, make sure you subscribe and like, hey, share, why wouldn't you? Click the notification bell bar button thingamabobber up there. Go check out old Kevin Talbert's station, or channel too, eh? It's pretty freaking decent. Always doing high jumps with the RCs and changing stuff and doing stuff and wrecking stuff and breaking stuff, boys. With the old RCs. Friggin' right he does. Good old UK. Friggin' right, boys. But anyways, hopefully everybody had a good day and isn't doing anything I didn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now.